custom systems. Today I'm going to show you how to add a schedule um, from beginning to end. So go ahead and open up your IVMS 4200 or your NVMS V3, uh, whichever one you're using. They pretty much operate exactly the same and look the same. Once we got it open, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we are going to create a template. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit add. We're going to call this one residential. Um, this is going to allow us to have a separation from our staff in our residence. You can create multiple of these things uh, just depending on, uh, you know, how complex your setup is. You can have it so that only people have certain access to um, doors on certain days during during the year. So once we create the res, we're going to come here. We're going to go to holiday. We're not going to do the weekly schedule. We're going to do the holiday for the setup because we only want them to have access during certain times of the year at certain times. Once we do that, we're going to hit add. Uh, then we're coming here and call this. We'll just say this is going to be for pool. So we're going to call it pool. We're going to hit add. We're going to select our from and our to. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's in session and when it's out of session. So we're going to do in session first. So it's from the 6th to the 7th. And the blue outline means that they do not have access. So we're just going to say that there's access from this time to this time. After that, we're going to hit OK. All right, so now we have this res. We're going to hit save. All right, so you can see there's nothing on the weekly schedule. Our staff, they have access all the time. But for our residents, they only have a holiday schedule with set up for pool. To see that holiday template and to set up more holiday templates, you can go under templates into holiday. There you can add multiple because this is only good for one year. It's this, this year at this time because obviously the days change. So you want to update this uh, at the end of each year for when your pool or whatever it may be will open and close. All right. So next thing we have to do, we have to go over to authorization. Then we're going to go to access group. We're going to create a res. This is going to be under the template res. Um, we're not going to add anybody to this right now. We're going to come down here to access. They're going to have access to those doors. If you have multiple doors, you would then check which ones you want them to have access to. Oh, i got to select at least one person. So we'll just select this person yet because we haven't created our person. I'm going to hit save. All right, it says status. All applied to be applied. The one I just created needs to be applied. So I'm going to hit this little check mark. I'm going to hit apply changes to device. All right, once it's done, we'll go ahead and X out of that. Now we're going to go over here to person. We're going to add a person. We're going to name this person res. We're going to come down here to card. If you have a station, uh, a card reader station, or if you want to just go to uh, the closest reader, you can do it from there. Um, but most of you guys, I think, have enroller stations, so we're going to hit read. We're going to tap it twice. Reads in the card for us. Very important. Next, we need to go down to access control. We need to pick the access control group. We're going to hit residential. We're going to hit add. Now we have to come up here. This little uh, yellow button, we're going to hit that. Hit apply now. That's going to save our changes. All right. So now um, everything's all set up. So Let's go back, access control. We have our access groups. We have our template. We're going to holiday. This is our pool. So right now, today's the 6th to the 7th is the dates that we have access. And if you look down here, it says door locked, door unlocked. It is allowing me to access that. All right, so now um, we have access here. So if we want to make it so that we don't have access, we'll come down here and we'll say from the 12th to the 13th. That's when we have access. That's our time. Hit save. Apply. Now we don't have access. Invalid duration. I'll do it again. Invalid duration because we're not within the time frame that we wanted it. Okay. 
So that's how we set up holidays to, for certain days and certain times. I'll create other videos on different aspects of this. Just There's, there's just so much to uh, uncover. I've created other videos that you can watch, but I'll try to do more detailed, shorter videos uh, to get to the meat of it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.